Hello everyone, it's Tracking Pat. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the edit mode on the Prototrack RLX lathe. I've found over the years that there's a lot of things in the edit mode that are very useful, and yet I've also found that a lot of people tend to not use most of them because they either never learned or weren't brave enough to see what happens when you push the button. So I wanna make sure everybody has a really good understanding on how it works. So what I'm gonna to do to get started is first of all, I'm gonna to go to the edit mode and I'm gonna show you the subjects I'm talking about. So in here, you have the ability to delete certain events without erasing the entire program. You have the ability, of course, to erase the whole program. You have a clipboard, which allows you to take a certain part of your program and store it for use in another place or another time. And you also have the search edit. The only thing I'm not gonna cover in this episode is the one that's grayed out, which says G code editor. And the reason for that is in order for me to have that lid, I would have to have a G-code program in here and we're not really talking about running G-code programs. I will give you a little bit of a basis on how it works though. So if I run a G-code program in here, that G-code editor allows me to change things in the coding because I wouldn't be able to do things like I normally would with uh, can cycles, and stuff like that, okay? So enough on that subject. I do wanna teach you how the rest of this works. So I'm gonna start out by going to the program mode. And in the program mode, you'll notice in here that I've got a simple cycle event on the outside of a piece part, and I've made a groove in here that I've got to cut at the end of the part, okay? And what I'm going to do is I actually need another groove in here, and it's going to be almost the same, but it's going to be a little bit different. So normally what would happen in this case, I'm going to make my screen a little bit smaller, and what normally would happen is there's my groove event, right? And if I wanted to have multiple grooves, I could simply go in here and use a repeat event. But the problem with a repeat event is that it only works by repeating exactly what you have. If I need to make some changes, then I either got to start over or do it by hand, or in this case, use the clipboard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that event, which is event number seven, and I'm going to go to the edit mode, and I'm going to go to the clipboard. And I'm going to tell it that I want to put event seven in there, and it's going to ask me, is it just seven that I want to put in there? If it was that I wanted to copy the whole thing, it might be from one to seven. In this case, that's all I need. So hit the set key again, and that automatically puts it in there. Now when I go back to the program mode, you'll see in here that when I go to repeat, I have the ability to insert the clipboard. When I insert the clipboard, what it's gonna ask me is if I wanna offset where it's at. Well, I wanna keep the X the same, so I'm gonna say ink set or no change, but the Z, I need to move it over about a half an inch. So I'm gonna put minus 0.5 incremental, and you'll see there is my second groove. Now here's the glory of how it works. What it did was made a whole new groove with all the numbers in it that I can manipulate. So let's say that what I really needed to do is come into here where the chamfer top is, and I wanna just put an angle on this one that I don't need on the first one. I can punch in here 0.025, and you'll notice that it automatically changed it. Can you see that? I make it a little bit bigger and move it over. So see, I added the chamfer automatically. So even though I added it there, it did not change anything on the first one, okay? So that's the first way that you can use this, okay? The next way that you could use this would be if I wanted to erase my program. So I'm gonna show you the next thing how to edit. And this is a really funny one with me, right? There's a button here that says erase program. But if I had a dollar for every time I saw somebody go to the program mode here and go to the very beginning and go delete, 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 delete until they got all the way to the end, instead of simply going to the edit mode and saying erase program and say yes, and now it's gone. Okay, so if I come in here now and I wanna make a new program and I'm just gonna switch past the name part, I can still go into repeat, insert clipboard. In this case, I'm not gonna move it. That same groove can now be implemented into a different program than the one that I was using when I entered it into the clipboard. So hopefully this gives you a couple different ways to use it so you understand how powerful it can be. Just like using the copy events in one of our mills, I can change anything to a copied piece part or part of a program. Four. Hey everybody, it's Tracking Pat out here on the links enjoying a little free time after a long day of work. As usual, we're hearing that a lot of the videos are helping you guys out there make a little bit more money. I hope that's the case and I hope you take that extra money and a little extra time and get out and hit the links yourself. Of course, me, I'm out here having a good time right now, but next week I'll be back in there doing the next video. We love it when you watch them. We really like it when you give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, push this button over here. And of course, if you'd like to watch the next video, just push the one over here. I'll see you either on the links or I'll see you in the next video. As always, don't forget to keep on tracking. Man, I gotta go find that ball.